Thanks for joining us on Goldman's Back 40 podcast. We have a really exciting three-part series uh, that we're going to be doing with an interview that we did with Mr. Noble Gidon. He is a Goldman's Integrated Solutions Manager. And Gary, we're going to be talking about some technology. Absolutely, Rodney. We're going to be able to take technology and turn it into dollars for our farmers and the farming community. Well, I can't wait. Looking forward to getting into it. Looking forward to seeing you there. Uh, join us in part one, and uh, we appreciate your, your business, and we appreciate you joining us with this uh, three-part series. Thank you. Welcome to Goldman's Back 40 Podcast, a production of Goldman Equipment. We are your local John Deere dealer here in central and northern Louisiana. Give us a call or come by one of our 12 locations statewide and look us up on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or on our website at www.goldmanequipment.com. Goldman Equipment, we're not just in your field, we're in your backyard. All right, thanks for joining us once again on Goldman's Back 40 Podcast. We are here today, again, from West Monroe in our studio. We uh, have a very special guest with us today, uh, Mr. Noble Goodon is joining us. Uh, Noble is our... uh, Corporate Integrated Solutions Manager, and uh, we're going to talk about technology today and uh, some things that we're going through now and have available now and uh, some things that we're going to be moving into place going forward on a more, uh, on a bigger scale. So Noble, uh, take it away. Tell us a little bit about yourself and kind of define what we mean when we say Integrated Solutions. Sure, Rodney. Thank you. Again, like you said, my name is Noble Gidon. I uh, am the uh, Corporate Integrated Solutions Department Manager for Goldman Equipment. And Integrated Solutions, what are we talking about when we talk about Integrated Solutions? Well, within within Goldman and Deere, um, our department handles um, all of the solutions that make a farm become more efficient. Uh, and we want it to be a true solution that's integrated with the equipment right. um, to where we're, uh, we have receivers that are on the machine, uh, telling the machine where it is in the world, how fast it's going. Uh, it helps with guidance. Um, it uses um, technologies to help uh, variable rate fertilizer, mm-hmm. to uh, variable rate inputs, uh, variable rate seeding. Uh, it actually can, um, these machines nowadays, if you have um, a RTK, a GPS receiver, can um, collect survey grade elevation data. So with that being said, my department handles all the precision ag equipment. It handles uh, all the, the data management like we're going to talk about today. Uh, we handle the crop insurance, and we also handle the, the precise planning side of the, the industry. So you wear a lot of hats. Well, yeah, we, we, we stay busy <laughs> within uh, the integrated solutions. And department. a lot of different technologies that all kind of roll into one big ball and uh, with the purpose of, of, of rolling this in and helping our customers to uh, get more out of what they have, correct? That's correct. And the, the neat thing about um, about deer equipment and, and us as Goldman, um, different colors in the industry, different brands, they don't really have a true integrated solution, hence the name. Um, if you have a competing brand of equipment, it may have a, a red tractor with a yellow receiver mm-hmm. with a, uh, another brand rate controller. So in order to make that piece of equipment as efficient as you can, you've got to be an expert on three different right. um, brands or technologies or three different languages. To uh, You have to be bilingual. Yes. Um, where with, uh, with deer equipment and, and our company and our department, all of that is integrated in the tractor. You don't have to be mm-hmm. a GPS expert because it's integrated in the tractor. You don't have to be a display expert because it's integrated in the tractor. It's just like the uh, mechanical front wheel drive. That's part of the tractor, just like the three-point hitch. That's part of the tractor. Right. And, and you know, when you hit on that, and Gary, you know, you've said it many times uh, here at Goldman, when we get a new piece of equipment in, we get the latest, greatest. We get everything on it. When, we, when it comes in, all the technology, and this is a big reason why, because as you mentioned, we want the technology to work seamlessly with each other without having conflicts between, uh, you know, and you install this from here and this from here and this from here, it all basically comes on the machine ready to rock and roll and to use all of this technology seamlessly. And we, we support it as well. 
So if you've got a competing brand that's got a, uh, it may be a red tractor that's got a Cummins engine in it. Mm -hmm. So if you've got a, a red piece of equipment that's got a different brand in it, who works on the engine? Is it your the guy that works on your tractor, or do you have to right. get a guy to work on the engine? Where in our uh, in our plan, you know, the, the same technician that helps rebuild your IVT transmission can help you troubleshoot issues that's going on with your GPS receiver. Right. Gotcha. All right. Well, let's kind of dig a little deeper into this. And uh, first off, I want to ask you this. You know, we've had several new technologies come in, and uh, and and. I would like to ask you, you know, what's the what's the most important things that we've seen in the past what five years, Gary? Four years? Yeah, come last, through the last five years for sure. Mm -hmm. um, we learned just a few days ago that just here in the Delta with the new called Exact Emerge okay. Planner, mm -hmm. uh, that it takes about ten days to build a plant. Um, ten good full days to build a plant 1.3 million acres wow within our aor so just think <laughs> about that that's getting it done that's getting it done <laughs> what else what else have we looked at here gary that that's that we've seen really come to fruition in the past few years on this new technology well i'll, I'll let noble talk a little bit about it but the gen 4 display and and the exact apply Sprayers, uh, yes. that's also uh, probably with the exact Emerge planner. It was the three biggest changes that has helped us not only be able to plant in a shorter period of time, but also uh, to be able to be more efficient um, all around the agricultural community. Um, so uh, John Deere spends a large amount of money on technology. Yes. And as a DOT dealer, a John Deere DOT dealer, we use that technology up front. We don't we don't lead from behind. We lead right. up front. So, um, but Noble, explain a little bit about the Gen Four display. What that does? The the Gen Four display um, is the uh, latest and greatest display inside our, uh, our and inside our John Deere tractors and John Deere combines, and soon to be inside the uh, the John Deere cotton pickers. Uh, it is a um, leaps and a bounds better than our uh, or more advanced than our 2630s, which was our Gen 3 displays. Right. That was the predecessor to the Gen 4. Uh, it has a an easier um, the the user interface that we hear back from customers uh, is much uh, easier to get used to. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very similar to a, a touch and swipe like you see on uh, an iPad or a tablet right. or an iPhone. Um, the memory is faster. Uh, it, can, it, it doesn't take as long to, when the machine cranks up, it doesn't take as long to boot up. It's ready to go when you're ready mm -hmm. to go. Um, and as far as um, sending um, information to our customer's um, uh, secure account, uh, it sends up its information uh, uh, a lot quicker throughout the day than um, than our, our than our twenty six thirties did uh, five years ago. Right. So it allows you to fill in the gaps and holes uh, in uh, production data uh, almost real time. Now we you that's a very important point right there. <clears throat> you know we we talked about this the other day. The twenty six thirties. How often did they upload data? They upload data anytime that you change the field. Mm -hmm. Or if you uh, manually initiated an upload, okay. so um, in theory, if you never changed your field, um, it would not automatically go up. So um, what we were what we were um, telling our customers to do is is to make sure that your yield data or planting data or tillage data gets pushed up to your um, secure account um, in a uh, quick, fast, in a hurry. You need to change your fields at night. Okay. So your machine, it, when you change the field, it initiates an ex, an, an export and it goes up. Okay. And then con conversely with the Gen 4 processors, whatever. Every 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Yeah. It sends up packets of information every 30 seconds. So it's all, it's, it's, it's very close to almost real time as long as you have a good cell phone signal. Right, right. And that's incredible right there. Yeah. That's a big leap. It sure uh, is. Between the two. Yeah, it, it, it allows the information that the machine is collecting to be used, um, to be available and used uh, more quickly and right. more efficiently. Mm -hmm. 
And, and the uh, exact apply sprayers, uh, tell us a little bit about those. Yeah, the exact apply sprayers, um, traditionally over the last probably 10 years or maybe even longer, we've had what is known as sex control. Mm -hmm. And sex control, uh, when talking about a, a sprayer, uh, it, it, it allows the section of the boom to cut on and cut off depending on where the, uh, where the equipment has applied. So it's, it's reducing your overlap. And what that is is just sex control. So if you've got five sections on a 100-foot boom, then you've got a 20-foot section of the boom that's right. going to cut on and cut off. Or if you have seven sections, it's just divisible by however many number of boom sections you have on that boom, and it, and it reduces the overlap in the overspray of, of products that's being applied by that sprayer. Well, with the exact apply system, now we've taken it from section control to nozzle by nozzle control. Wow. So if you've got nozzle spacings that are 20 inches apart, we just took our section control from 20 feet to 15 feet to 20 inches. Wow. So uh, that even further advances our, um, you know, our, 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 our further reduces our uh, overspray and overapply. Okay. And that's, that can equate to some big savings. It definitely the, the can. can in, in today's time, we need to be as efficient as we can. It definitely can can save the, the farmer uh, a, a lot on inputs. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. I hope you enjoyed part one. Uh, and we're looking forward to part two of this series. Please join us next time as we uh, continue to discuss more of, uh, of our integrated solutions here at Goldman and how it can benefit your business. Right, Gary? Absolutely. The, the next series, we'll get down into the bolts and nuts of the technology that we're using today. Great. Looking forward to it and looking forward to seeing you there. Thank you. Thanks for listening to Goldman's Back 40 Podcast, a production of Goldman Equipment, LLC. We appreciate your comments on the show, and please let us know you enjoyed the program by hitting the like button on Facebook and sharing with your friends. We look forward to seeing you back with us for the next episode. Until then, God bless you and your family, and God bless America.